amazing, you beautiful souls. It is Tori, the Hope Dealer of Guided Intuition, and I am here to do your <laughs> daily guidance, your daily reflection, your daily spiritual message on this beautiful Friday or whenever you are watching this videos, my love muffins, okay? So, my loves, I hope that you have took the time to meditate all right i hope that you have done something on a spiritual level that is going to keep you throughout this day i apologize if my mic is scrubbing <laughs> all right i hope that you have took the time to say some positive affirmations about your life where your life is going okay um I hope that my love muffins and enchiladas have looked in the mirror and loved on you. And even if you didn't look in the mirror, I hope that you have turned your phone around to selfie mode. Make sure that you really look at you today. Make sure that you really love on you today. I know that it sounds so cheesy <laughs> when I say that and just so generic. You know, when I tell you guys to look in the mirror or turn your phone around to selfie mode and really love on you, really acknowledge how hard you are going for yourself, really um, starting these conversations with you. Um, I know that it feels foreign sometimes. I know that it feels silly when you're looking at you, um, but this is how you are really going to develop a relationship with yourself. Most important relationship in the world, <laughs> okay? Because without you, there would be no moment of us having what we are having right now. So just really make sure that you love on yourself. Really know, let yourself know that you are so proud of you because you are making a conscious decision Okay, to step out of fear, any doubt that comes up, you are making a conscious decision to still go in the directions of your dreams and where your heart is leading you. So on this beautiful Friday, there was a conversation that my sister um, had with me. So sorry, guys, I wanted to really allow the light in today. And I'm right in front of my window. So you may hear cars, you may hear people walking by, you may hear birds chirping, <laughs> you may hear a lot of things. Um, there is a lot going on in, um, you know, this energy of today and probably what you are experiencing in your life. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot, a lot of ways that we can go. Um, there are a lot of obstacles that, you know, um, may be in your way. There's a lot of obstacles that you're overcoming. There are a lot of things happening. You just really adapting to this new foundation of, your life, you know, finally, you're putting you first. Finally, you're honoring you finally, you know, and that can bring a lot of emotions up. But most importantly, the thing that I really want to talk about today that the divine has placed on my heart, um, there was a conversation that a sweet soul asked me. Um, and she said, do you believe in miracles? And this just sparked this whole conversation. <laughs> and I want to ask you, this today, everything that you have been through, okay, my loves, every heartbreak, every no, every quote unquote let down, every adversity that you've ever came up, you know, um, experience, I promise. We have heard so much about those, but today, the divine is really invoking things around in your atmosphere, placing things in your heart, in your mind, all right, bringing people your way. And the core of it is, is to ask yourself, do you believe in miracles? All right. On a scale of one to 10, this beautiful soul asks me, do you believe in miracles? And I'm going to share my number with you guys. And as far as do I believe in miracles, like wholehearted, like, you know, really, let's be, let's be raw me, you right now. I can honestly say that I'm at an eight, <laughs> an eight, a solid eight. You know, I think yesterday I was at a seven and a half and now today I'm at a solid eight. And, um, no matter what, where your number is, do not feel ashamed, but I want to let you know that the divine wants you to know in this moment and in this time that miracles are very real. Okay. Miracles are happening and miracles are happening to me, honey. That is my favorite affirmation by Chanel Cooper Skies. <laughs> um, but yes, and when I say miracles, um, miracles are merely those desires, those dreams, 
those visions that you see for your life, those things that you can, you know, feel that you can taste. Um, sometimes they're very, very close. And then sometimes you're like, I don't know. <laughs> but what I want to let you know is that that desire, that dream, when I said miracles are real, whatever you've seen yourself doing, whatever you've seen yourself having, wherever you, whatever you've seen yourself being, that is very much real. It's real. All right. Miracles are happening all around us. I really want you to get in the mindset of today and understanding that you are the creator of your reality. All right. Maybe you need that reminder today that you are the creator of your reality, that nothing is out of your reach. Okay. You create worlds. All right. You are, you are an extension of the divine. There is so much power with inside you, so much power inside you. And sometimes we forget that and it's okay. It's okay because maybe that situation is speaking bigger. You know, maybe your fears are a little flared up. Maybe you're a little nervous about stepping out there, really doing what you desire. You, wherever you are, it's new, it's different. You're adapting, you're growing, uh, you're blooming. And sometimes, you know, we just forget so I want to be that reminder to you, okay? I want to be that reminder that the worst is over, all right? Nothing can break you. Nothing has broken you. You're here. Whatever happened, you're here. You're still thriving. That heart is still pumping. You're still going. Don't give up because you are literally invoking a miracle in your life right now. See it through. Whatever obstacle, whatever thing you're looking at, whatever next stage that you're um, embarking on in your journey, for all of us that may look different, I promise you, you are worthy, you can do it, you are unstoppable, okay? So just keep on going. <laughs> so what I want to do today is I want to um, go ahead and just start by pulling the overall energy of today, okay? I want to just go ahead and pull the overall energy of of today what is the overall energy spirit of today guys just how my camera is set up i i don't think i can like get in front of you guys <laughs> all right and pull it but let's just see spirit let's see what is the overall energy of today what's the overall energy of today for every beautiful soul that is watching right now in this moment i don't care if you're watching it friday or two weeks from now all right what is the overall energy Okay, what's the all of our energy? What's available right now in this very moment, Spirit? What's available? All right. Mm. What is available right now is the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, miracles. <laughs> Pentacles, miracles. <laughs> the overall energy of today and the energy that is available, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And this is why the divine wants you to know today, do not worry, don't give up, keep going, because this is what's going on right now, the ace of pentacles. Anytime we see a pentacle, and especially the ace of pentacles, we know that it's dealing with manifestation, all right, prosperity. So I really feel like today, look around, ask the universe to show you, okay, don't be afraid to ask the universe to show you the desires of your heart, show you that this is very much real, okay? And I promise you, pay attention to the signs and wonders that enter into your life. The universe speaks in so many ways. Um, and as this beautiful soul asks me, guys, do I believe in miracles? Um, Everyone, you have to realize that when it comes to the law of attraction and manifesting your hearts, your dreams, your your hearts, desires, everyone does it differently because some people, um, they don't like they, you know, you state what you desire, okay, you put that out in the in, um the atmosphere, but some people don't like to um, like demand where it's gonna come from, okay, but then some people they like to state where it's going to come from, how it's going to come to them. And I'm here to tell you either way is okay. It's all about what feels good to you. What road to you is the least resistance because I'm not going to lie to you. I have experienced that when I ask um, for something that I'm desiring, 
I like to literally set intent, okay? I like to say state exactly where it's going to come from. Like, I'm going to make $2,000 this month from YouTube. Let's just say that. I like to set intent just like that. Where some people, they may, the resistance may flare up because you don't think that's achievable. But then for some people, if you just leave it up to, you know, whatever coming, you don't feel secure. There is a lot of resistance. So it's all about picking the route of least resistance. Okay. So I just wanted to put that fun nugget out there because, you know, sometimes I get so many questions um, in emails about like, you know, manifesting and we know we release it and try not to think about it. But, you know, it's all about doing what feels good to you, what road is the least resistant to you, okay? Because for all of us, you know, it could be different. The resistance can be different. So just keep that in mind. But the overall energy of today is the Ace of Pentacles. So no matter what you were looking at, I promise you, all right? You win, okay? <laughs> you win. Whatever thing that you're desiring, that dream, that field, that career, that business, that relationship, whatever it is, it's yours, okay? And and I'm so tired. Like when, when I talk about things like this, just, or have you guys experienced when you talk about beautiful things like this, it's kind of like, you know, you feel bad for talking about it or you feel like foreign, but no more of that. Speak the miracles in your life because they are very real. And, you know, I'm not going to apologize and you shouldn't either because it may not be real to other people, but it's real to you. And that's all that matters. No more apologizing because you choose to focus on the ace of pentacles when it comes to life. All right. And not the 10 of swords. <laughs> okay. All right, my loves. So I want to go ahead. I'm trying to see which deck do I want to fill in this moon on right here. Let's just go ahead and see the overall message, the overall guidance. All right. That spirit has for this beautiful soul that is watching on today. Okay. On this beautiful Friday or whenever you are watching. So the divine, I ask that you let a message come out clear for all of the souls that are watching. What would you like them to know? Okay. What would you like them to know today concerning their dreams, the desires of their heart? Okay. Let your, your words, let your light speak louder than their fears louder than their procrastination, louder than their dark doubts. Okay, we got one, All right? I said darts, doubts. <laughs> All right. What is it you would like the beautiful soul watching to know? I'm going to take this one and we're going to grab one more, guys. One more. Let's see what guidance that the divine has for you today. I'm, I so apologize if my mic is scrubbing, guys. Please forgive me, okay? My love, so I went ahead and made rooms because I just want to clarify each of the cards that the divine has picked today, all the guidance. I just want to clarify. Go ahead and clarify. All right. So you see that over there already. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pull two more. Okay. Now we're going to get over here. Right there. here okay all right so we're going to go ahead and get started daily guidance daily spiritual message the daily reflection that divine has on you has for you whenever you are watching this video okay so we're going to start here all right so sorry guys this setup <laughs> so we have the first card we have a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Now, remember I was saying, don't give up, don't stop. Okay. Um, really ground yourself today and refocus is what I'm hearing with this card on an intuitive level. So, um, I also want to go ahead and read from the book because I love this meaning. Okay. It says the teachings, it says the full moon in Aries is a super fiery time. When emotions can run very high, 
On the upside, there's excitement about what may lay ahead, all right, what lies ahead, but tempers are likely to fare with rash comments or decisions. No matter when you pull this card, it signals that the situation has just or is about to come to a peak, perhaps in rather heated ways. There could be a price to pay if you have been too competitive or too blunt. All right. And so this is why I want to let you know, you know, sometimes when we're desiring something, sometimes when situ when we're manifesting too, because I'm, I'm really feeling guided to tell you this, when you're manifesting your heart's desires at times, situations will um, <laughs> arise that are not the, um, what I, what, how do I, how do I say this? What nice word could I say? You know what? Mm -mm. We've seen the devil card come out here. We have situations that can really test us, situations that really um, have the potential to take us out of our element, okay, um, to really redirect your attention. But what I want to let you know, no matter what situation that you may be looking at that may be, may not be ideal, may just come out of um, anywhere, a situation or even insecurities within yourself, I want to let you know, okay, we also have the two of stones which deals with the challenge. So I really feel like there's a challenge here. And I really feel like that challenge today is you really knowing that the desires of your heart, that your dreams are really possible and really real for you, that miracles can happen for you and to you. All right. Not just around you, but to you. And I know that that's been hard, you know, but I feel like today you're setting yourself free from these limits from these situations, from these people, places, things that don't align with who you truly are, all right? So let them fall. And even with those belief systems within yourself, those limits that you have placed within yourself, I don't care that your whole life you've seen people have unhealthy relationships and love, you know, or not know how to communicate or, you know, poverty, whatever it is, that's not your reality. That's not your reality anymore. You know, you at, at a time or point, you were young, you had to deal with that. But now the power is in your hand. OK, nothing is out of your reach. And I really feel like with the great bear, there is your belief system. OK, it's having a major breakthrough. All right. Undergoing, I want to say major surgery, a grand rebirth. All right. When you come out. All right. When this situation is over, I promise you, somebody is literally manifesting okay and maybe you've been it's okay it happens to the best of us it, it happens to me <laughs> occasionally when you got knocked off your trail when you haven't been saying your affirmations you haven't been looking in the mirror or you haven't been you know really maybe meditating or doing those things you've let situations and you know things like deter you off but i promise you Keep to the path that your heart, your intuition is telling you. If it's telling you to work with the law of attraction, throw on them Abraham Hicks, honey, because Abraham will get you right. Those affirmations, script, journal, I promise. Stay dedicated. I promise you. And next year, this time, you won't know your life. It happens just like this. It doesn't have to take 29 years or, you know, seven months. I'm telling you. It's all about when... You, because it's closing out. I really like it says a fiery, um, a fiery climax is coming. All right. And I really feel like this is the, 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 the make or break it. Like basically like things are happening in your life. Situations are showing up to get you to believe that miracles are real. Ask for what you want. Don't be afraid. All right. Keep going no matter what. See it through until you see it. That's the only way. <laughs> All right. That is the only way, my love. So let's look at the next message that the divine has. I promise I'm so sorry if I bump this camera. So the next one we have, ooh, the new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So I really feel like if you have been like in a poopy mood or, you know, <laughs> whatever, you know, doubt or things have been happening or you've been really reflecting, um, today you're going to come into the energy where you're going to realize that luck is on your side, that nothing is outside of your reach, okay? 
And I really feel like once that situation is over, whether there's a person, place, a belief within yourself, all right, when that's done, this is when you're really going to come into this energy. So you could probably already be here realizing that luck is on your side. You know, whatever, you know, has you've been lacking, you're going to feel, um, you know, I feel like if you throw in your affirmations, you know, um, really place yourself around things that you desire, maybe you're fearful of, you know, stating or axing exactly to have something. Or Nothing is outside of your reach. Um, I really feel like it's just about refocusing, okay, um, your your energy. Like, you know, today, put on those affirmations. Surround yourself around things that truly lift your spirits, things that you desire, all right? Because luck is on your side. And to confirm that, we have the three of vessels deals with the joy, all right? And then we have the nine of bows and it's all about respect and respecting a, pro a process. So I really feel like I always explain this guys like this, but you know, when you seen those movies, you know, like where they're trying to get to the other side of the jungle and they have to give like, you know, the native, the land people like a, a gym or a password in order to get um, secure, um, you know, safety across or they can cross this path that they're on. I really feel like for you, that is you really um working with I, i'm gonna say it the law of attraction just really believing and knowing putting on your affirmations doing your visualizations um scripting okay i really feel like this is a path of how you get back on to manifesting the things that you truly desire that's coming up right now all right i promise when you do that it's going to take you out of this lack all right whatever you're whatever you feel like you're lacking all right it's going to take you out of that Okay, my love. So the next thing that we have, the last thing we have is emotions are running high, super moon, okay? Emotions are running high. And then we have the king of arrows, we have the wheel, and then we have the lo lovers. So this is why with emotions running high, I really feel like that's a, a in the middle. It's kind of like the wheel, okay? This is why the divine wants you to redirect your energy, your focus, focus on what you want, because that is what's going to manifest. All right. So if you're focusing on a negative situation with the guardian card here, the devil card being here, the challenge, you know, of you, whatever the lack of that's what you're going to manifest. But if you focus on, you know, turn those emotions. All right. Surround yourself around things that you desire. If you desire a beautiful home, if you desire to travel, man, you better go on YouTube and watch all these traveling channels and start like panning out like where you're going to visit you know how much your vacation is going to be you get what i'm saying like mapping out if you desire to have your own place or move into a different place start looking at houses in the in in the um what's the word i want to say and the price range that you desire you get what i'm saying start writing these things down like i even like did my because i don't know where it is I don't know exactly where it is, but I know, I know that it's a loft and the windows are so freaking gorgeous. I, I really have a vibe of New York or even somewhere in Florida, but I, I, I do, I'm just going to know when I see it. I'm just going to know, but start writing these details down. Start, you know, visualizing your studio, your store, your shop, whatever it is. All right. Because the wheel is turning. Okay. And right here with the um, with the king of arrows, it's all about, you see all this room, all this opportunity? It's all about what you fill it with, all right? Opportunity is there. A lot of opportunity. The will is turning. So fix your eyes on the desires of your heart. That's what I'm hearing. Fix your eyes on the desires of your heart, okay? I know sometimes when you're doing something, you don't know how it's going to turn out. You don't know where this is going to go. You're nervous. There's a lot, there's a lot of, um, you know, nerves, anxiety flaring, but I promise you, keep going. Listen to your intuition, all right? And I promise you, as you, as you start to go, the plan will unravel. I promise you, two years ago, I remember before I even started coaching, before I even started tarot, before I even you know, really started to help individuals on their self-healing journey. 
you know, I didn't know what I wanted to really do. So I just wrote this affirmation of me just pouring self-love, self-worth and self-acceptance into somebody. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And my words and stuff. And now I, I look at today, I'm like, wow, I, I literally manifested that. Like that's literally, literally what's going on. So I promise you to the beautiful soul that is listening to my voice, all right, that you have watched this video, all right? Miracles are very real, okay? And they're real for you, all right? And I want you to fix your eyes on your desires, not your doubts, okay? So I love you guys so freaking much. It is such an honor to read for you guys. Latasha, you had me rolling when you were like, you're, you're too little, you're young, you're um. Your babies were like laughing at you, but in a loving way for you hugging trees and recording you. <laughs> Listen, the first time that I did it with my, my nieces and nephews, that was so crazy. Like I did it with Taylor. And, you know, he's such a cool dude, but, you know, he'll randomly like, yeah, can I get that crystal? Can I help you shuffle your cards? And, you know, I was like hugging a tree. And I was like, are you going to hug it with me? And, you know, people are outside mind you now, guys, you know, and he's like this cool little dude. And he's like, we hugging trees. He's like, yeah, come on, let's hug some trees. And I was like, what? You going to hug some trees with me? He's like, yeah, yeah, they, they keep us breathing. I was like, okay. <laughs> so make sure you go out in nature. Make sure that you hug a tree for you and me. Even though it's raining, I'm going to go out and hug a tree, love on a tree. I promise you, it's been so much rain. And as we were, I we literally got caught in the rain. And I just remember this sidewalk that had so many trees and it was barely any rain over there. And as I'm running, guys, people are running. And I'm just like, thank you guys for sheltering us. <laughs> you know, and I know they were looking at me like, what's going on? But what's beautiful is you can think about that. But there is actually somebody said, you know what? Yeah, thank you, trees. You get what I'm saying? So it's all about where you fix your energy. It's all about where you where you go. Okay. Re remember that you're driving the boat. <laughs> As Kodak Black would say, you driving, can I drive the boat now? You know, you're driving the boat when it comes to your life. You are the captain and you are directing it. All right. Smooth sailing. <laughs> I love you guys so freaking much. And I will see you on Monday. And yes, we will resume the twin flame soulmate. Okay. Um, weekly energy. You will have that on Monday. Okay, guys. I will talk to you later. Take care.